So the Bitcoin halving is approaching very quickly, and many people are wondering what the price is going to do between now and then. Yeah, we're going to go up, down, sideways, and I want to lay out a very real possibility with you guys. This isn't you know FUD or anything like that, but we have to obviously look at all possible scenarios, and I want to explain why this is. Now, right now, we know the Bitcoin halving is supposed to happen sometime between March and May of this next year, so we'll use about 250 days just to make it nice and easy, and right now, we've gone through this bear market cycle, which has lasted 692 days. Seems like a crazy long period of time. So this this time that we're stuck waiting now until the halving is much smaller than this time that we've gone through. Now, what we could honestly see from ADA at this time is some sideways action. I wouldn't be surprised for a little bit broader volatility. You know, maybe we come back down and go up and go down and go up and kind of broaden out a little bit as we get to the Bitcoin halving, essentially going sideways. But what you need to realize is when that Bitcoin halving does in fact happen, BTC begins to lose dominance. Altcoins begin to take off, and that's truly when you could see the price of ADA really work its way to the upside, okay? Now, what I want to remind everybody is that this market cycle, it's going to be easier for ADA to move up. You may ask, you know, how is that possible? Obviously, there's a little more supply in place. It's about, I believe, 10% more. There's about, what, 31 or no. Yeah, 31 billion ADA last uh, at the all-time high, and there's about 34, 35 billion ADA in supply currently. That's currently out in the market. Now, the reason why I say this should be easier to move to the upside here is that we've seen increases in TVL. So there's more ADA that is, in fact, locked away. If you guys look, remember last market cycle, TVL didn't even exist. Okay, there there really wasn't smart contracts. There wasn't the emergence of dApps, things like that. But we're starting to see that now. So right now, about 2% of the way is actually stuck in TVL. This is expected to continue as we you know continue to improve dominance, as there's more use on the chain. Things like that will, in fact, boost the TVL higher. There's also a large amount of people that don't plan on selling their ADA until late in the bull market cycle, which makes sense. So obviously you essentially get into this uh, supply crunch, right? Low float, that's the best way to describe it. In fact, when there is less supply, obviously it's supply and demand, but when there's less supply out there and the demand for ADA increases from the overall use of the network, from the mass adoption of crypto, that can obviously send prices up a lot faster than people realize. That's how you know these these projections of of eight to to fifteen dollar ADA they truly seem like they're possible. You know, come up here. Obviously, it's not going to be a straight line up, but that's where you could see this kind of move. I'm not sure what time frame it's showing on here. It doesn't give me that, but you guys get the point. As the overall use of the Cardano ecosystem grows, the price of ADA can grow as well. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. I wouldn't be surprised by some sideways action with some spikes, some drops. You know, we obviously know that Celsius has to sell off some of their ADA. We know that there's also the looming possibility of a recession. You know, we got to obviously get inflation working its way down. There's a lot of macro factors outside of, you know, crypto itself that are going to play a pretty big impact at this time. But we'll obviously just have to take them as a common. As always, I'll obviously keep you guys updated. Now, if you guys haven't already, do make sure you check out the channel sponsor, Grape. Obviously, they're building a layer one chain as well. The coin did go live, if you guys aren't familiar. The, the price of it's about $170 right now. Very low supply, 10 million total supply, very small. But right now, the pre-sale is still open in case you guys are wondering. Again, you can use my referral link here to get in via the pre-sale. I'll make sure that's in the description below for you guys. But right now, $46 a coin is quite a bit further below uh, $170. So if you guys do get into the pre-sale, remember coins will be staked for 120 days. You get a couple benefits for this being the case. You get a 10% bonus by getting in via the referral link. You actually get this 49% uh, GGT bonus. So you actually get the governance coin for the chain. And while your coins are staked, you do also earn 20% APY. So something that's probably worth checking out. As always, this is not financial advice. You guys can do what you want. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you think we are, in fact, going to go sideways to this point leading up to this explosion for the Cardano ecosystem. So I appreciate you. I hope you have a great day. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.